Hey guys, it's Sarah at Book Raiders, and today I want to talk to you a little about clarity. A very interesting, uh, a very interesting C of one of the four C's that most people uh, typically go by as a rule of thumb when it comes to shopping for diamonds. Um, in my expertise and my experience, clarity is one of the more subjective grades, and from a consumer standpoint, can be very difficult and tricky to navigate. Uh, for example, I do have four individual diamonds here that are going to be four different clarity grades. Now clarity refers to the internal imperfections or natural birthmarks that occur inside of the diamond while the carbon is forming under the ground. Um, the one all the way here on the left is going to be a VVS clarity grade. So one step away from being considered internally flawless, a very pure and very rare diamond. Right next to it, is a VS, very slightly imperfect. Yes, imperfections only visible under magnification. Well, next to that is an SI, considered slightly imperfect. Uh, a slightly imperfect, you know, in most cases, and even at this size, means flawless to the naked eye, and imperfections may be relatively easy to find once you put it under magnification. A still very beautiful pure diamond, uh, and can be a wonderful value proposition because it gives you that flawless to the naked eye, that VVS look, without the VVS cost due to rarity. Uh, another interesting diamond that I have here is this very last one all the way on the right. Now, graded as an I1, which means imperfect. There may be imperfections visible to the naked eye, but because of the, the nature of the specific imperfections in this particular diamond, this diamond happens to be virtually eye clean. And so at this, it's respective carat weight, uh, the clarity grade uh, is an amazing value proposition and we only buy I1s when they tend to look like this because it gives you a tremendous savings due to the rarity of the grade, but it gives you a beautiful outstanding look. Um, now, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry, I lost.